Mr. Cabbage Patch himself has Let's signed an extension to... <laughs> with the Red Sox. <laughs> they I was have... hoping that's how you're going to introduce this. <laughs> that's right. He, he, for those of you who don't know who Mr. Cabbage Patch is, it's Rafael Devers. He, they have agreed to an 11 year, $331 million chain bloom golden parachute. This is the thing that has saved chain bloom from all of the pitchforks and. Hi, I'm Bloom. Shut up, Brad. Thank you. You're so good. It does look it. like Chaim, though. It's C H A I M. Yeah. It it's like written Chaim. Okay. It is I'm Bloom. Chaim. Yes. Oh, Mike just rolled. Maybe I'll just call him Chaim just to bug Mike Farns because he would bug the crap out of him. <laughs> no, Mr. Bloom is now no longer uh, the subject of quite as much irritation and anger from Red Sox fans as he has been. Letting Mookie Betts and Xander Bogarts and those guys go, they've signed Mr. Cabbage Patch. So very excited for the Red Sox to at least have kept one player that is decent in their system. Yeah, it is a big deal though because initially they had signed in what was a one year, seventeen million dollars just to avoid arbitration uh, yeah. this year. And it's like I'm sure fans were like, "Oh, there it is. That's it. One more year of Raphael Devers, and then they're going to trade him away or let him walk eventually." Like mm-hmm. they had to do this. Mm-hmm. Absolutely had to do this. Yeah. Like ownership, Heim Bloom, all of them had to do it to save face with the fan base because, like you said, you lose Mookie Betts, who is a once in a generation player. You lose Xander Bogarts, who is one of the top five shortstops in the game. Right For now. sure. And then you've got Devers, who is probably a top five uh, third baseman. Yeah. Once his defense. You got to keep one of them. Yeah. Yeah, and Trevor Story is the only other thing you have to show for it. It's like you can't. And he had doesn't... he had like a burst of really good, yeah, really good play last year, but it wasn't enough to make up the no. difference. No, no. nope. Any heezy. So we're excited uh, for Red Sox fans, and we hope the best for them. Not the royal we, just the general we. Hope for the best <laughs> for them. <laughs> well, this is to, this is one I thing. With call by it. Like, <laughs> yeah. is that you would hope you would hope that this is the first sign of the red sox being like okay like this is he's going to be our corner piece we're going to build around him you know obviously 11 years is a long time you know like we talked about yeah, home, right. hometown talent everything but yeah. baseball is better when teams like the red sox yankees dodgers when they're good yeah yeah it's 100 so percent fact i would like for the red sox to be good not mm-hmm. that good but competitive they haven't been no no, not 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 last year anyway. Yeah. No. So anyway, um, that's all I have to say about that. Do you have anything else you want to say about no, that? No, nothing else. That's fine. Because like I said, I don't want them to be that good because then that just makes for <laughs> more crowding at the finish line, right? Yeah, well, and an angry brig. So let's not do that. <laughs> <laughs> let's skip over that like a rock on a glassy lake.